guys, welcome back to our new series, How to Hunt a New State. If you haven't watched already, we've talked about Colorado and we've talked about Kansas. It's too late to apply for Colorado. If you want to go watch those, we'll link them down below. This week we are talking about Nevada. Nevada is one of my favorite states to hunt. Logan, pan, pan, pan. This is the largest mule deer I've ever killed. I shot that buck in Nevada in 2016-ish. Can't remember. As you can see, Nevada has some of the best big game hunting in the world. But there's two things about Nevada. The tags are hard to draw, and it is one of the more expensive states to apply for. That is why I consider Nevada an investment state. And what I mean by investment state is that I know that I'm not gonna draw a tag every year, but if I spend my time researching new units and I commit to applying every year and building my bonus points, at some point, I will have a very coveted tag in my pocket. And that is why I think it is so very important if you're looking to hunt Nevada or any Western state for that matter, that you become a Go Hunt Insider. When you become a Go Hunt Insider, you're gonna have a plethora of information at your fingertips. They have the most up-to-date and detailed draw odds there are out there. They just have a ton of information that are gonna help you get out and hunt a new state. If it's Nevada, Montana, Colorado, wherever you're looking to hunt, they have information about it. But when you do sign up to be a Go Hunt Insider, at checkout, use the code HUSH. What that's gonna get you is instantly $50 credit to their online store. They sell everything from backpacks to trekking poles to tents to optics, you name it, they have it on their online store. You will have $50 credit to that. And like I said, you will have all that information at your fingertips. So the first thing I do every year when I go to research the state I'm gonna apply for is I go to gohunt.com, go to the insider tab, and I come down and I click on the state rules and regs. And I'm gonna click Nevada, because that's the state we're looking to apply for. And this just has a brief summary of a lot of the laws, the regulations, costs, but I would also highly recommend that you go to, to the Nevada Fish and Game website, download their proclamations, and research the laws that you will need to abide by while you're in Nevada. Every state is different, but as sportsmen, it is our responsibility to know those laws in every state that we hunt. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna look at is dates. When do we need to apply by? So right here it has important dates. So this year, your online application deadline is due by April 29th before 11 p.m. If you're only looking to obtain a bonus point this year, you have until May 6th at 11 p.m. to get your bonus point only in. So let's look at what it's gonna cost us to apply for Nevada. So the thing you need to apply for Nevada is a hunting and fishing license. And this is where it gets a little expensive. It is $155 to obtain that license that you need to apply for the tag. Well, there's gonna be a box when you apply that states that if you are unsuccessful in the draws, you want a refund on your license. That means you buy your license, you apply, you're unsuccessful, you can turn your license back in. Do not click that box. Because what that does is it doesn't allow you to obtain a preference point. So if you apply and you turn your license back in, you don't get a preference point. Going back to it's an investment state, you want those preference points. So then let's look at what it costs to apply for individual species. So typically I only look at the big three. I only look at deer, elk, and antelope. So for deer, it's $11, elk, $16, antelope, $11. But if you are looking to get the most bang out of your buck from Nevada, you've already paid the $155, you might as well apply for every tag that you're allowed to as a non-resident. So you can apply for the big three that I just talked about, but you're also allowed to apply for desert bighorn sheep and California bighorn sheep. We're no longer allowed as non-residents to apply for Rocky Mountain bighorn or Rocky Mountain goat. You are allowed to apply for these other two sheep tags. You've already spent that $155, you might as well spend another $22 and obtain preference points if you're looking to hunt sheep. Maybe you're not. If you're not, don't. So the total after obtaining your license and then applying for all five species that you're allowed to, the total is $215 plus a processing fee. I can't remember what it is. But like I said earlier, I look at Nevada as an investment state. I know if I apply every year, keep building those points, eventually I will have some very sought after tags in my pocket. Another thing I think is important to mention is when you apply, depending on how many points you have, they are going to square your points. 
What that means is if you're applying and you have eight points and I'm applying and I have two points, eight squared is 64 plus 1.4 this year's application. So you're gonna go into the draw if you have eight points with 65 let's look at them as raffle tickets that are going to be in the hat. If I only have two points, I'm going to go in to the draw with, so two squared is four plus the one point for this year's application is five. So I'm going to go in with my name in the hat five times. That's why it's important to be diligent in applying every year. So obviously the more points you have, the better chance you're going to have to draw a tag. But that's not saying that I can't draw a tag before you. That's what I love about Nevada. My five names in the hat could get drawn before yours do. Another important thing I think you need to know is Nevada is the only Western state that looks at all five of your choices. So when you go to apply, you're gonna be allowed to put in for five different hunts for that species. The way to look at this is no matter how many points you have or how hard those hunts are to draw, your first two choices should be filled with the hunts you desire to do the most, regardless of how many points you have or how hard the hunt is to draw. It is also very important to know that if you're successful in the draw and you go out on a hunt in Nevada, you must fill out your hunter survey at the end of the hunt. If you were successful on the hunt or unsuccessful, fill it out. They only give you a certain amount of time. If you don't fill out that hunter survey in the time frame they give you, you are gonna forfeit your rights to put in the, for one year. Trust me, I know, I learned it the hard way. So in previous videos, we have covered the draw system and how to use it. We've covered the new filtering 2.0, and we've covered on how to use those for applying for a new state. If you want, click in the description down below and go and watch those videos to show you how to use these tools. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. We'll be back at you next week with another how to hunt a new state video.